Yo, what is up everybody? It's your boy Dorian here. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of DoorDash. Haven't done a video like this in a while. Also, don't have the Crown Vic anymore. Now, I'm rocking the Tesla Model 3. I'll show you later on in the video, but for right now, let's get into dashing. Ooh. All right guys, so I just picked up an order from McDonald's. I forgot to share it with you with when I first got it, but this bag right here is literally nothing but drinks. That's their chicken nuggets. It's for Mallory M. Got to confirm the pickup and then we'll head right there. Uh, I can't show the address. I'll just show their address or just show where we're going. All right, we'll be there in six minutes. I'll show you when I'm dropping the food off. This order is a, make sure no one's hitting me. This order is a leave at door. So we will definitely be leaving it at the door. Uh, usually what I do is I'll tell my car to navigate to where we have to go. But with this customer, we don't have to do that. That way at least you guys won't see the address. Just picked up the order from McDonald's. We're gonna be heading to the customer now. I'll be showing you, you know, it's just a leave at the door order. So I'll show you what it's like to leave it at the door, what you have to do. And uh, I believe this order was going three miles for $6.75. I doubt there's gonna be a hidden tip, but we'll see when we get there. Uh, I figured this time while we're going to the delivery, I'll tell you a little bit about my car. So I used to have the Crown Vic, as you guys know, but now I have a 2022. Oh, damn, that was fast. I have a 2022 Tesla Model 3. I did purchase the acceleration boost on it, so it goes 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds. It's the long range model, so it'll have roughly 350 miles of range. I just. I just filled it up as you can see it was $15.50 to put it to 85% which is usually where I keep it at 85 uh, that'll get me roughly 306 miles worth of range Turn left onto US 9 North. so you'll see the car once I finish the delivery I'm gonna keep the the camera going once I get to the house and do the actual delivery take the picture of the food and then walk back to the car so you you'll definitely see the car on the way back uh, I'm gonna be getting another GoPro you guys let me know in the comments below where I should put it but I'm either gonna put it up here so that it's looking at me or I'm gonna put it back here because the whole roof is glass as you can see so I'm either gonna put it back here behind this pillar so that looks forward of me kind of driving the car along with doing the the deliveries I, I I'm not really sure on what kind of angle I want to have it at. I think the front would be cool because at least I could talk to it while I'm driving. And then I could use the camera on my head to actually do the delivery. But I think the back view would also be cool so you could watch me actually drive the car and everything like that. So yeah, just let me know in the comments below what you would want to see. And uh, yeah, I'll probably be doing a couple of these videos every now and then. Let's do a little 60 miles. There you go, 60 right there, not bad. So weird, the the fact that you can't hear a thing. But I, I gotta be careful because I don't want her drinks to be spilling. And then I'll have to go back. There's, there's six drinks inside of that. There's two shakes and four drinks for the four meals. So huge shout out to McDonald's for putting their, their drinks inside of these uh, carry out bags and actually having them be pretty sturdy all right so we're gonna be pulling up to the house now like i said it is a leave at the door order so i'm just gonna do exactly that i like that doordash added that the customer requested that you leave the order at the door hello thank those you. are your drinks and your food thank you Have a good one. you're welcome you too All right, so the customer did come out on that one. So when we were completing the delivery steps, we just hit complete and we can't take a photo of the food since they were out. Damn, that's a sweet Model 3. Um, so we just put it that we handed the customer. Boom. Boom. Yeah, right, get that trash out of here. 5.9 miles for $3. I don't even know why they send me that. Another example of what DoorDash shouldn't be sending us 
This wants me to go 11.9 miles for $6.25. Boom. That's just crazy. DoorDash, send me something good. Leave those for the top dashers. All right, DoorDash, now we're talking. That's a good order. That's a $6.75 order on a 1.4 mile trip. I'll accept that. And guess what? It's going to Five Guys. Five, five Guys more. is right in front of me. So I'm going to go pick up this order and Take deliver it up. Can't beat road. that, though. It's Take literally right. across the street from where I am for Five Guys. The only thing that sucks, the one thing that's bad about Five Guys is that they are, um, they don't start to order until you get there. So like this order, I'll tell them I'm here and they won't start it until uh, I get in. They'll drop the fries then. So it takes a little bit, but it's not a bad thing. So the hand at the customers are always kind of sketchy because it's very easy in the app to say, I didn't receive my order. So it's a good thing to have a camera on your head when you do the hand it to customer orders. So far I've only used 4% battery life in the deliveries. I've done three deliveries so far. Not too bad. Your destination is on the right. That's gotta be it. Okay. Customer. I am. The following instructions. Side door RTF Dragula. Side door RTF Dragula. Okay. No problem. Hello, how are you? Ooh, okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, I get to <laughs> <laughs> Have a good rest of your night. Okay. Alright, that order is complete. Confirm. And that was more. I said it was supposed to be $6.75, but it was actually $8.19 for 1.4 miles. That's not a bad order at all. Thank you, sir. Hopefully DoorDash keeps sending us those. Boom. Oh my God, DoorDash. What is that crap? Five miles for $4.50? Yeah, right. Top Dashers, you could take that one. What can I get for you? Am I able to pick up a DoorDash order? Yeah, well, uh, what's the name? Tiffany S. You can pour on. Okay, thank you. So DoorDash, am I right? Yep, yeah, Tiffany S. Oh, nice one. Thank you too. This is a leave at the door order. Looks like they've had some issues with deliveries before because they said make sure it's at the house that's on the address in the description. So hopefully we don't mess up their order for them. Dude, these car carriers always scare the crap out of me. Or the drink carriers, whatever they're called. They always scare the crap out of me. I always think that. I always think that they're gonna fall over. I don't trust them. I think it'd be a lot better if I do the camera on the on the window or somewhere so you could see me while I'm talking like right now rather than just see my hands in the car. And then when I'm doing the deliveries or picking the food up, I think it'd be cool to wear the uh the the GoPro and get that kind of footage. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. The the thing comes in tomorrow, so we'll go we'll go further from there, but I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing. So I have an app right here that has a timestamp and a location tracker. So I always use it when doing the deliveries. That way they can't say like, hey, you didn't deliver that. So since the door opens, I'm gonna leave it here. Take a picture of it in front of the door. And I usually knock. And we're good. Go into the app, complete. Take photo from gallery. Pull up that first photo. Complete delivery. Confirm. That's it. That was a $5.75 order. And we're all good. On to the next one. We just got a Boston Market order going for two dollars. No. Going for 2.5 miles ish for $6.75. And the beautiful thing about it is I'm not even two minutes away from 
Boston Market. So we're gonna head there now, grab the order, and then we'll do the delivery. All right, Heather, we just picked up your order. Don't worry, I'm on my way. Boom. It's only gonna take me five minutes. So I just picked up Heather's order, 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 Heather's order. It's only gonna take me five minutes to get there. So Boom. we just gotta pass all these buff retro fitness men and then uh, we'll be at Heather's delivering her Boston Market. This is kind of cool. Let's uh, park our three-wheeled motorcycle on the side of the street like a dweeb because you're riding a three-wheeled motorcycle. Pretty lame, but teach their own, I guess. All right, so while we're on the way to this delivery, I kind of want to break down what orders I accept, what orders I decline, right and how I kind of get the most out of my mileage because like I said this is a 2022 Tesla Model 3 and Ooh. mileage is Take the next right I mean Avenue, the gas right is really good on it even though there's no gas but the electric like equivalent to gas is really good I mean I'm paying $15 the to fill this right thing right up for 300 miles road. it's not bad but I don't want to put more wear and tear on the vehicle than I have to the way I pick the orders is I don't drive unless it's at least two dollars per mile if it's pretty close i'll do it it is what it is it's going to be more money in the pocket anyway but unless i'm getting paid like if it's doing three miles i need at least six dollars for that order i'm not accepting it if it's less than six dollars i mean i might if it's 550 or something like that and it's close i might but for the most part my golden rule is two miles or two dollars for every one mile i have to drive so that's usually what's been keeping me pretty good. I mean, I haven't really been driving too many miles. Yesterday I made 156 bucks and uh, drove like maybe 70 miles. It wasn't that much. So yeah, I try to just keep two miles per every, per every or two dollars per every mile. That way at least I'm getting the most out of my, my mileage. Uh, Gonna get ready to put this back on and then we'll arrive at the house and I'll, we'll do another leave at the door. But yeah, don't drive unless it's two dollars a mile. That's the golden standard. That works. You're welcome. Have a good rest of your night. Thanks. Thank you. Looks like we're going back to Five Guys. That's where I was all day yesterday. Five Guys in China Moon. So we're going to go back to Five Guys now. I just got an order for $5.75, I believe. Yeah, $5.75 and it's going 1.9 miles. You can't beat that. So let's head over to Five Guys. All right, so we got Naomi's order here. It's had a Coke bottle, but... I don't know if it's in there, but I'm gonna go back in and probably check. Let me see. So when you're doing DoorDash, when you're doing DoorDash, you're supposed to check the orders. We can't really do it now with COVID, everything's sealed. But when I got the order for that one I just did, it's supposed to have a Coca-Cola in it. And it definitely didn't have it inside of the, uh, definitely didn't have it inside of the bag it had the shake but it didn't have the coke so that would have sucked if i got to that person's house and they didn't have the coke that they ordered so luckily i spotted it went back in was able to uh get them to give me the coke and now we're going to do the delivery this one's a leave at door but the person i already saw is getting out so it's obviously not gonna be a leave at door so it's a good thing i got the camera going course that time I don't bring the camera in they're already at the door
but it looked like they were coming to the door so I didn't bother getting the car take a photo camera I'll just say hand it to customer if anything comes up I'll just pull the footage from uh, the GoPro what's that what Wawa 2.9 miles there 2.9 miles for eight dollars from Wawa consider that done what are we picking up from Wawa chicken noodles meatballs BLT hoagie and a chicken burrito for Madeline <laughs> that's a meal dude I would I would eat I would eat that meal it's actually not a bad meal sorry I haven't been recording me picking the food up and bringing it back to the car it's just I don't know it's just a little weird to have a camera going in people's face while they're making food With this order I was saying this order is kind of weird because it says hand it to customer from DoorDash but then it also says leave it at my door as the customers notes so with this order I'm gonna definitely wear the GoPro and take a picture of the food and I'm just gonna leave it at the door and take the picture so it's kind of weird that they would say hand the customer leave at door but that's what I'm gonna do and uh, big shout out to Wawa the second I walked in the door it was already sitting right there which is huge your destination is on the right hand it to customer they added the following instructions leave at the doorstep hand it to customer they added the following instructions leave at doorstep how does that make sense I'll just leave that there it's good enough for me I don't know why no one's coming to get it but that's the address. Well, looks like we're going back to Five Guys. Got another Five Guys order here for 2.7 miles for $6.75. Dude, I'm living at Five Guys today. Usually it's Chick-fil-A. I'm surprised I'm not getting too many Chick-fil-A orders. Shut up, GPS. But, yeah. I'm pretty stoked about going to Chick-fil-A. I mean, uh, Five Guys, they've been pretty quick today. I don't know if it's because they're dead and the rush isn't hitting yet, but looks like we're going to Chick-fil-A. Oh, I mean, five guys. I found it. It looks like there's an attack dog outside. Not really, it's just a little tiny dog. Hopefully no one comes because they're not going to be able to get out. Oh, it's not a dog, it's a cat. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Take the picture. Do it right night. So right now I'm at forty-seven dollars. Probably been out since I don't know five thirty, so maybe two hours. Well, guys, that's gonna end it for the dash today. I uh, only made forty-eight dollars in two hours so it wasn't too bad but I tried to get one last order in and every single order they sent me was like the worst order ever like 20 miles for 10 bucks uh, 11 miles for eight dollars like it was just complete garbage they were sending me so this is the end of the video I'll uh yeah I'll probably be making some more of these videos let me know if you guys liked it if you like the format and uh, I'll definitely see about making some more of them. Take it easy.